Okay, so today we're going to learn how to install Zomberry Admin Tools and the Trader. So first you're going to go to Steam, run Daisy Launcher, go to Mods, load the Trader mod, and Zomberry Admin Tools. So now we have these loaded. And Zomberry Admin Tools has a dependency, which is CF, Community Framework, which we have that already. Now we're going to go back to Library, Tools, go to your DZ Server, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Now we're going to do the basics. So we're going to open the Zomberry Admin Tools. I understand. Pull this over here. We're going to copy this folder here. We're going to paste it in here. And we'll go in here and make this a little bit easier on ourselves here by doing that. And we're just going to go ahead and copy the trader also. We're going to paste that in here. And now we're going to go get the keys for each mod. We're going to copy the keys, paste them in the keys folder, go back, come back here. Go up to the trader, copy the trader's key, put the trader key in here, and now we're going to go to the bat file. We're going to do a few things with the bat file here. First you want to go into your mods here, and we're going to add the trader in here with the semicolon. We're going to want to add Zomberry Admin Tools with a semicolon. And right here at the end of the file, we're going to do a little, a little something more special here because it's the trader. So we're actually going to take an extra line here, which I provided for you in the description. This line, copy it and paste it in here. Basically it tells your profiles to read your program files all the way up to server profiles and your server folder to the trader folder. I copy this line so we can go ahead and add this into our parameters. Paste that there, and that's in our parameters, and save that. So, go back to your server profiles. We're going to create a new folder. We're going to name it Trader Folder. And we can actually take this folder, since it's a toxic zone, it's going to be read also in this folder as well. Now we're going to go in here, we're going to create two new folders. We're going to call it one trader. And we're going to call one zombie. Okay. Now, we're going to go back to the trader folder inside of here. We're going to go here, we're going to go inside of this, and inside of here, copy all of this, and paste it inside of the trader folder here. That's inside of your trader folder here. So it's going to look like this. So you're going to go to server profiles, trader folder, trader, and you're going to have your trader configs in here. Now anything you edit in here actually takes place in your server. Now we're going to go back to Zomberry. So we're going to go down, find Zomberry Admin Tools. You're going to want to go config, copy this, and paste it in here. 
Now, we're going to want to edit this. And we can go ahead and delete this. This is your Steam ID, and this is your UID. This is what you need to be an admin in your server to use the Zombier admin panel. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. But we're going to keep this open. Because right now, we're going to go and find your Steam ID. So go back to Steam. Go to your profile. Copy the header. Go to this site here. Paste it right here. Look it up. And here's your Steam ID. You copy this. And you paste it in the second line of here. So we can save that. And we're going to go back to your folder here. Here's your Steam profile. And we're going to go ahead and just run this. Because this is going to generate a log in your server folder, in your server profile, that you can get your UID from. Which is going to be generated in here once this registers you logging into your server. Okay, now our server is open, so we can go ahead and hit play. And we're going to want to play it so that way it registers in the server profile that we actually ran it. Now, this shows you that the traders are actually here. And they actually work. And they're all set up. Every one of them. All the traders. But, the reason why you want to exit now, and to find your UID, and the reason why you need your UID, is because whenever you hit M, it will tell you that it's misconfigured. So this is why you need your UID, and your Steam ID, in the Zomberry admin config. So how you get your UID is, now that you've ran it, you exit the game. You can go ahead and shut down your server. Now that your server shut down, you can go back into your server profiles folder, into your trader folder. You go to your server console log. You go down here to the very end, And somewhere down here at the very bottom where it says your players and your count and stuff, whenever it says 1, you want to look for where it says 1. And it will tell you that player Itchy, which is me, has logged in with this UID. So you want all of this code right here from the equals over to the first character. So you want to copy that. You want to go back to your folder here, Server Profiles, Trader, Zomberry. Here in your admins, you're going to want to edit this again. And put your UID up here where I left the space. And then hit Save. And now your UID and your Steam ID will be read as you as an admin. Now if you want other admins in here, you won't need their UID, just yours, saying that you are the prime user of the account. And if you want others to have their other admins on your server, just put their Steam ID below yours and save it. But we don't need that today. So now, you can go back to your server again. Run the bat file. Now that it says zero, we may enter just by hitting play. Make sure your trader is clicked, your Zomberry admin is clicked, your parameters are set to trader and Zomberry, and make sure your bat file also reads that your trader and Zomberry admins are in here as well. And make sure your keys are in place. 
with your keys are in place. And then once everything is there, hit play. Now once you've entered again, after you've entered your Steam and your UID into your Zomberry Admin Config, all you have to do is hit M on the keyboard, and it brings up your control panel. I'm going to go over a few of the things here with you. Teleport target to cursor, which means just that. You can bind this to any key that you want. Let's say P. And now we will... Now I'm typing, hitting key. Now I'm hitting P on my keyboard. And I am porting wherever my cursor is pointing. Now just read these down here, and you'll figure the rest out because it's pretty self-explanatory. Here is me, and if you want to heal somebody, you select the character up here, and hit heal, and it starts to heal. If you want to go god mode, because you're testing some stuff out, toggle god mode there. If you want to kill a player there, and vice versa, you can make them laugh. <laughs> Pretty creepy if you ask me, but if that's your cup of tea, go ahead. You can initiate free cam, where you can just zoom out and watch your character do a little dance as you're going around the map. You can make it go faster, make it go slower by zooming and scrolling with your mouse wheel. To return, you just hit free cam once again, and it returns to your body back to normal. To spawn items, you can spawn anything. Let's see, AKM. You can spawn the AKM in, or any other weapon. Obviously you can't shoot it because you're in the safe zone. Or you can spawn, let's see. Spawn a hatchback in. For a hatchback. And here's that. Now, whenever you spawn an item in, you don't have to fill up everything individually. All you have to do is hit M, refuel and repair, and it does it for you. Now, if you don't like the item there and you want to delete it, hit delete on your keyboard twice. The first time it'll initiate you telling you're about to delete it, hit it again, and it's gone. You also have your map here. Here we go. Go here to this trader, hold Alt on your keyboard, and hit left mouse click to teleport to that position. And you're here at the other trader. And these also work because we also did the trader. And spawn in all types of items. It gives you your categories, edible base, your foods, your objects, your boats. Shipwrecks, houses, all that stuff. AI, you can spawn in zombies to freak out players. And the same thing with those. If you don't like them, you can delete those also. Or if you're in the trader, they delete by themselves. Like so. In my next video, I'm going to go more in depth on how you can get custom traders in custom areas. If you would like to see that, please stay tuned. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me out and encourages me to continue to create videos. 
Hope you guys enjoyed everything that I've brought to you today. Thank you for watching.